really helped a lot of people network in the area and it's really just changed a lot of people's lives. So I'm excited to share that with you guys tonight. Um, our mission is to provide extracurricular development of hard and soft skills, business marketing knowledge, relevant industry experience, networking, internship, and employment opportunities to help our students develop into their very best professional and personal selves. And we do this by uh, doing everything, trying to execute our vision, by operating AMA UT like a real business, continually adopting and implementing best and next practices in marketing and business to offer our student members highly relevant and useful experimental learning to complement formal in-class learning. So basically, we just want to give you guys these opportunities outside of the classroom to network and build your professional portfolios before you go out into the real world. I know it can be really scary to find those, experience, those real world experiences before you graduate, so AMA UT really provides those right here for you on campus. Next, we're gonna bring up our faculty advisor and CEO, because we operate this like an organization. So this is Professor Beamer. I think some of you are in his class right now. I, 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 when I was about your age, I started my own business and I ran it successfully and then sold it after 10 years. So I'm a hardcore entrepreneur uh, and I know how, how to run a business, how to start a business, run a business, and we run AMAUT like a business. After that, I, after I sold it, I went to work for a tiny little company that does business in 168 countries around the world, Mars Incorporated. If you've ever eaten Snickers, Twix, m and Skittles, Starburst, any of those, I worked on all those brands and I worked with some of the most brilliant marketers around the world. Uh, and now I am teaching. And uh, at all three of those jobs, I hire people. I hire people for my own company. I hire people uh, to work at Mars. And, I, and I, I'm on a hiring committee for professors when we hire professors to evaluate them. And you know what? what, what when we write job descriptions, everybody know what a job description is? All right, you, you look at a job description, and we write down all the things that we require in a job description. And they fall in four categories, four. One is, does your formal education help you, help us look at you and say, yeah, you took a lot of courses and you learned a lot of things that are gonna help you in this job. You fit, some, you fit a lot of these requirements. The second thing we look at is your work experience. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this or you looked yet, but when you look for a job, you're gonna see uh, entry level position in business, marketing, whatever you're having to be in, and it says one to three years experience. And you say to yourself, how am I supposed to get one to three years experience if this is my first job? So guess what? We would look at your work experience because we don't have, companies don't have the time or money to train you for long periods of time. You have to come in and produce revenue right away for the company. So if you don't have any relevant work experience at all coming out of college, it's going to be very difficult for you to qualify in one of these four categories, in that category of work experience. The, th the third thing that we look at are your hard skills. Do you know what? There are two kinds of credentials. There are macro credentials, which your college degree here is a macro credential. You spent four years here, you've studied, you've done your work, and you're gonna get that diploma. And what does that tell us? It tells us two things. One, you have very specific in uh, information or knowledge about your major. Number two, you finish things. You actually complete things. So, uh, so, so when we're talking about your, uh, your work experience, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. So we're talking about bringing you in with, with macro credentials, it's not enough. It's not enough. You can't just have a college degree and then think, ah, I'm gonna get a college degree, I'm gonna get a job. It's not true. You also have to have micro credentials. Micro credentials are industry training that you can do outside of the classroom that proves that you actually can do something right away. So there are many, no matter what your major is, you need to go outside the classroom and get extracurricular training to make sure that you have hard skills because you're gonna to prove to us you actually know how to do, any, do something. Two of the biggest complaints that I hear from hiring managers today is students only know what they know in their field, but they don't really know how a business operates from A to Z. The second thing is, is that students know a lot of theory, but you don't know how to do anything. 
So you need to learn how to do things so the business can hire you right away. The, th the fourth thing and the most difficult thing are soft skills. Who knows what a soft skill is? What are soft skills? Anybody, just yell it out. What's a soft skill? It's like stuff like communication, organization. Like yeah. yeah, communication, organization, collaboration. If you've ever managed people, it's the, one of the hardest things you'll ever do in your life because if you manage a team of 10, everybody has their own personality. Everybody has their own thoughts of how things should be done. And guess what? You can't learn that in a classroom. You have to get a job where you recruit and you train and you manage and you motivate and you make mistakes. And then guess what? You learn how to develop your people skills and then you're really good at what you do. So I'm gonna let you all know this right now, that if you are not, if you're in class but you're not doing a lot of things outside of class, you are not gonna have hard skills, work experience, or soft skills. In AMA, we, our entire mission is around giving you hard skills, soft skills, and work experience. And they're gonna to explain tonight exactly how we do that. Uh, but I'm just gonna do a really quick exercise right here with the four of you. So if I were hiring right now, and you all came into interview tonight, and I would walk up to you and I would say, okay, so you have, um, you have a degree from the University of Tampa, that's really great. And then I go down here and you say, I have a degree from the University of Tampa and I have work experience. Excellent. I have a degree from the University of Tampa and I have work experience and I have hard skills. Excellent. I go down to you and you say, I have a degree from the University of Tampa, I have work, work skills, I have hard skills, and I have soft skills. Who am I going to hire? Yeah. Him. I'm going to hire him. Because guess what you bring to the table? You bring skill. You bring a bundle of benefits to your employer, and you want to, number one, get the job. Number one, two, you want to negotiate for the best, best salary and benefits package. you got to be that complete picture. So our mission at AMAUT is to make you that complete picture, and you're going to learn that tonight. I, last thing I'm going to say is this. Who knows what a recession is? What's a recession? Just give me the definition of a recession. Two negative quarters of GDP. Two quarters of negative GDP growth, and you know what that means for jobs? Companies are firing people like crazy right now. Google just fired 10,000 people. There's been 200,000 people fired in the tech business. Healthcare is firing. Businesses are firing. Businesses have stopped hiring. So if you think that you can go out in the world and say, I was a good student, but I really didn't do much of anything else. I didn't work on all these, any of these other areas. It, it might have been easy to get a job two or th a year or two or three ago, but if you are not working very hard to make yourself outstanding, you may struggle in the job market in the next year or two. So invest in yourself. Figure out what it is that you can do. We think AMAUT is the best, uh, best time that you can spend here at the University of Tampa outside of the classroom, no matter what your major is. So I'm here to answer questions, not tonight because I have to go teach class, but our, 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 our folks, our leaders, which we have incredible leaders, will uh, answer all of your questions. So thank you very much, and seriously consider uh, AMAUT. Sorry, my voice isn't as loud as his, so I have to use a microphone. But our leadership team is looking for people to join it. If you want to get involved in AMA and make those experiences that we were just talking about, we have a lot of different ways you can get involved from finance to management to operations to event planning. There are just a lot of different things to communications. There are a lot of different things that go into AMA UT starting with our senior leadership and our board of directors. So our senior leadership is made up by the faculty advisor, uh, Professor Beamer, who just talked, myself, and our executive vice president, Eva Romke. These terms normally switch over each semester, but Eva and I just love AMA so much that we are staying for another month, so yay. Um, and then we also have our AMA UT board of directors, which is directly managed by Eva. This is our vice president of membership, communications, finance, partnerships, programming, and agency. These people are all, they all have to apply for these jobs. So Eva and I go through an application process each semester where these people submit a resume and then we set up an interview with them and then you're either hired or you're not. So it's really great experience. At this level, you have a lot of responsibilities, which you'll get to hear from a lot of our vice presidents throughout the rest of this presentation and they're going to start coming up by team so first up is membership i'm going to hand it off to corinne hi guys i'm corinne i'm the vice president of membership and i've been serving in this role for my second semester 
So in a nutshell, this committee um, really works to be a main point of contact for our members. So we work with tabling, we work to answer questions about how to sign up, how to renew, and just overall general questions about AMA in general and its benefits. And recently we extended our um, team to two kind of more um, extensions of research. So we have HR and we have research. HR is kind of working with the internal committees and making sure things are running smoothly so that we can put on the best events and perform um, the best for our members. And research, um, we do mainly to gain feedback and gain um, just overall comments about members um, of our events and stuff so that we can improve and cater um, our professional events to what you guys want to see. So yeah, membership is really cool because um, we table and we kind of shape people to sign up for AMA when we table. So if you guys are interested, I'll be right here and you guys can sign up. Mm -hmm. One thing I forgot to mention, um, for each team, they're made up of directors and subject matter experts. So subject matter expert positions will probably require you to dedicate maybe an hour to a week of your time to AMA. At the director level, that's when you start getting more responsibilities and you learn to delegate to your subject matter experts. So that might require you to put in a little bit more time each week, but it's definitely worth it and so rewarding. If you talk to any director, they'll tell you all the experience that they have now, and they're all managed by their vice presidents. Now we're going to bring up Kenny from the communications team. All right, hello everyone. My name is Kenny Ramsey, the VP of communications here at AMA. Uh, the name itself gives you a pretty good idea of what we do on the communications team as we build our chapter's online presence, as well as communicate our events and opportunities. If you're hearing about AMA online, uh, the odds are it's from our team. My primary goal is to structure these teams with an agency-like experience in mind, and while I've been fortunate to find multiple internships through AMA, uh, I constantly find myself working on projects within the comms team that will be valuable additions to my portfolio and create differenti differentiating talking points when interviewing. If you're looking for a creative outlet, work experience, and portfolio builders, the comms team is a great fit for you. And feel free to find me after this meeting if you have any questions. Now we'll call up Braden, our Vice President of Finance. Hello, everybody. So I'm one of the many examples of not having to be a marketing major in order to participate in AMA and to help it run as a successful business. So I handle all of the registration and re-registration. So whenever you guys pay your dues, it all goes through me. I handle all of the cash within the business and the budgeting for events, uh, major, uh, conferences like one we're going on today, or uh, this year, sorry, today. and uh, just cash in general. So if you have any questions about finance, if you want to join, just let me know. I'll be here after. Our vice president of partnerships is not here tonight. Her name is Sachi Patel, but we have our director of external relations here. His name is Pietro. Uh, how are you, everyone? Sakshi unfortunately couldn't make it tonight, but uh, I'm Pietro, I'm the uh, Director of External Relations, and our primary goal in the partnership team is just create as many opportunities for networking on campus and off campus, so I typically focus on the off campus stuff, but um, you know, our biggest event last, year, uh, last semester was Power of One, uh, our team created an event where all the AMA chapters in the area came over and we had a wonderful event, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity here at AMA, and if you're on the fence about joining, I would recommend just doing it because it'll be worth it. And even if you come for a couple events, you know, you'll take something out of it from real business professionals. Thank you. Hi again, everyone. My name is Yadira Navarro, and I'm the Vice President of Programming. My team consists of myself, um, my Director of Programming, Megan Murphy, and my subject matter expert, Jack Mayers. Um, so our overall goal for the programming team is to really go out and network with business professionals in a variety of different industries um, to come join us at UT to present on highly relevant topics to help bridge the gap between in-class learning and real life experience. So my job is to really push our AMA vision to its fullest. 
Um, our job entails coordinating and facilitating our biweekly professional development events, our networking, and our career expos. Um, I've really found a passion once I joined AMAUT. Um, I've been able to develop um, my delegating skills, my networking skills, and I have had the chance to really network with some high class um, business professionals that has um, enabled me to gain more experience and opportunities. So if you have any questions about programming, please see me after the meeting and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Ready. I'm the VP of Agency. Um, if you don't already know, uh, Agency is Amy U Tampa's student-led marketing agency. So we work with real clients to help them develop marketing plans to help them solve their business problems. And as an, I'm an ad PR major, so it's helped me take the principles I learn in the classroom and apply them out into the real world. And it's helped me gain relevant experience and skills that I can apply to my future careers and also develop the hard and soft skills that uh, Professor Beamer talked is very important. Uh, so the agency is broken up into uh, five areas. We have research, we have website, we have email, and we have social media. And I'm gonna bring up the leads of those areas to talk a little bit about the open positions and what you're gonna be doing in those areas. Uh, to start off, we'll do website. Hi guys, I'm Trisha and I'm the website lead for the agency. So in website, we mainly focus on two things, which is analytics and designing. So designing, we look at like companies um, landing pages and we give them advice on how to improve their landing pages just for faster loading time, speed and security, but just in terms of aesthetics as well. Like no one's gonna go on a website if you know it doesn't look and tie, like enticing to um, consumers, right? So that's what we do here at agency. Um, and we also focus on analytics as well because a website can be beautiful, but analytics also matter in terms of uh, how people actually visit a website. That tells you how, how good you're doing as a business. So if you guys are interested in joining my team, feel free to come up and ask me any questions afterwards. Hi guys, I'm Caitlin Chavette. I'm the lead of research on agency. And the research team is a little more analytical. We do more surveys and data, but it also really provides a holistic view of marketing. And that's why I think that team is just so great and has been so great for my development as a professional as well. Because we get to look at the decision making and also a little bit of the creative side as well. So if you want to join my team, please feel free to come up to me. And I just think agency is such a great experience. So definitely look into it if you have any interest. Hi everyone, um, my name is Callie Kozlowski. I'm the social media lead for our agency here. So obviously everybody knows that social media is very important in the business world, especially nowadays, and we're always on social media. So we kind of look at the trends. Um, we do a lot of the, I guess, strategy behind it. We come up with some videos and I guess just planning out some content um, on our social platforms to promote a business in the best professional way. And also we look at different kind of target audiences um, based on the business. And it's a really great, again, work experience that everybody keeps saying. Um, but if you're interested in my team, come talk to me. I'm an open book, so please ask me anything. Um, and they're not on this slide right now, but we also have an email team and they work with creating uh, campaigns for email to help people get, you know, people to read their emails or their newsletters and stuff. And this semester, the agency is actually working to develop our own brand. So we're going to be building our own website and our own social media and emails. So that's our focus for this semester. And then at the end, we'll actually help a client that uh, another a marketing class is going to be working on but we're going to actually develop all the actual content and stuff so this is a qr code it has all the positions if you want to apply you can also come talk to us but we'll probably direct you to that form as well you just put in your name and the resume and the position you want but that's it thank you So this is how we all work together. This is our one big massive org chart for all of the teams that you just met. So I know it can be a little overwhelming, so we do have this org chart for all of our members to look at and view whenever they please. Um, as you can see, it kind of starts at the top with our faculty advisor, and we're a very fluid organization, so that's why it's very spread out. Um, we don't like to 
think of people as like higher, uh, or well, people are, sorry. Sorry, let me restart. But um, we like to be cross-functional with our teams to get a lot more work done. We think it's more efficient this way. And also it reflects how teams interact in the real world. So it gives you those soft skills that Professor Beamer was talking about where you're gonna learn how to work with other people in a different department. You're gonna learn like who you need to reach out to, um, formalities and turnaround time work really well in our collaborative organization. And now we're going to show a video from Cali. Welcome all new and returning members of the American Marketing Association here at UT. We're so happy that you guys were able to make it today. My name is Cali Kozlewski, and I'm a sophomore here, majoring in marketing with a minor in business analytics, and I live in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. I am the director of social media for AMA, and for agency, I am our social media lead. I actually didn't join AMA until my spring semester freshman year, and I was on board right away as the SME of social media, so I was a subject matter expert. My role is to come up with LinkedIn captions and research trending hashtags that would optimize our post and put it in the eyes of the right target audience. And I also compiled a monthly analytics presentation that I would present to our leadership team, and I would talk about the numbers that were going up, going down, and I would talk about my thoughts on why those numbers were going up or down, and I'd also give advice and suggestions on what we can do better. So I joined AMA because obviously I'm a marketing major, but I also wanted real world experience without even taking a collegiate marketing class yet, and I did just that. Uh, I learned about paid search, organic search, SEO optimization, and a lot of other terms I would not have known if I wasn't an AMA, so I'm very thankful that I joined so early on in my college career. Another reason why I love AMA is because they actually helped me land my most recent internship with True State as a digital marketing intern. For our general meetings for AMA, we bring in our business professional from the Tampa Bay area, and they come speak to us about their experience in the field, how they land their current role, and they give us some tips and advice as college students. And when Leah from True State came and spoke to us, I was super interested in their digital marketing, and I went up to her and talked to her after the presentation, and she actually encouraged us to apply to their summer internship program, and she encouraged everybody in the club to do so as well. And I applied and ended up getting it, of course, and I'm just really thankful that AMA gave me that opportunity. Here at AMA UT, our goal is to teach you the skills that you will need to succeed in your future internships or job opportunities. And speaking from experience, I can confidently say that AMA has given me some great tools and great skills that I've talked about during my interviews, and it's a great way to network with your peers here at UT, especially because we all have similar interests in the marketing field. Hi everyone, I'm Eva Ronke, and I'm gonna be talking about some of the benefits you get from joining AMA. So to start, you get access to the member-only internships like Callie was just talking about, and opportunities alike. You also can expand your network and include national contacts. Some people I've met include the director of marketing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, one of the best contacts I've made to this day. You also get a membership in AMA Tampa Bay and AMA National, so you're getting three memberships for the price of one, which allow you to expand your marketing skills significantly. And also, the big thing we have right now for this semester is we're going to New Orleans and network across the nation at the ICC competition for AMA. More info is to come for this, but if you're interested, please talk to me, Haley, or Brayden about it, and we can get more info to you. Now, before I cover our some of our upcoming events to look forward to, I just kind of wanted to review what entails planning a professional development event. So, as I said, our programming team will go out and network with business professionals. There, we then um, interview them and tell them what AMA is about, what we're looking for, which includes our vision to find highly relevant topics for speakers to talk about. And then we then um, work with them to develop um, key takeaways and topics for the event. We then take that information to our communications team where they develop content from that form. Um, they send out infographics. We help them develop um, our email marketing and all of our socials. We then um, implement that with our membership team, they take care of attendance, check everyone in, and they also receive feedback that we then consider once we are booking continuous speakers. If you guys liked hearing from a specific company, we then may bring them back or bring another person 
Um, and then we also develop content with our videography team. Um, programming actually produces interviews. We go off campus and we record those with those speakers so we get to see the inside look of the in different industries and the companies and things like that. Um, so first, the first event to look forward to is on February 8th. Um, we have eight public marketing communication professionals joining us. Um, they have positions within the digital marketing, loyalty, customer relationship management, retail marketing, corporate integrated marketing um, departments. Um, so Publix is, they definitely advocate for innovation and testing. They are experts at data-driven media planning and optimization, and they are extremely knowledgeable media, sorry, extremely knowledgeable in consumer and target customer media usage and trends. Um, so just a little bit about Publix, uh, they were founded in 1930. Um, it is the largest and fastest growing employee-owned supermarket chain in the U.S. Publix employs over 200,000 associates. And it's very exciting because Publix really doesn't join any other university in the area, but they have specifically um, wanted to work with us because we do provide some promising new marketers um, people are in communication, videographers, and you'll have a chance to um, to send us your resume that we will then provide public. So it's a really great experience to market yourself with public. Next, on February 15th, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning Vice President of Game Presentation, John Franzo, coming in. He is a distinguished producer, director in the world of in-game production and entertainment with 35 years of experience. So he's most definitely a vet, considered a veteran. He leads the production team responsible for the in-game presentation, features and elements that enhance the fan experience at Amelie. His team has been nominated for five IDEA Golden Matrix Awards. They actually won the 222 GMA for Best Hype Video, and they were the one of three Best Game Presentation finalists in the two 2022 NHL Stanley Awards competition. Him and his team conceptualize, script, and produce the Lightning Games presentation. This includes video features, motion graphics, experiential elements, and they do control all the 14 LED displays, seven concourse walls, and over 900 TV monitors, as well as the plaza projectors that you see at um, when they project the game outside Emily and things like that. Next, on February 25th, we have the Chief Marketing Officer of PDQ, Frank Rappa. He oversees all marketing and brand activation for Tampa-based Concept PDQ, um, which is incorporated of 66 locations in 11 states. He has extensive experience in leading strategic marketing and brand management operations at the global level. He has developed and implemented wholesale strategies, introduced innovative products, and scaled brands internationally. So the topic for this event is how BDQ, um, how they use brand storytelling strategically to um, reach the right customer and how they use socials to do that. And he may be bringing PDQ, but I can't confirm that. So if you could snip last part pretty short, because I do want a lot of time for question and answer. Um, but on March 1st, we have video production. We have Ali Beamer coming in. Um, that name might sound familiar to some of you. She's a public relations practitioner with over eight years of experience serving national brands in media relations, crisis and internal communications, PR campaign and press event management, video production, and brand strategy. She's a PR lead for nationwide brands such as Longhorn Steakhouse and Bahama Breeze. And she was originally the PR representative for the Universal Orlando Resort. She's gonna come in and do a whole presentation, an amazing workshop on how to make a video from start to finish. And then we also have Chris Beamer on that same day. No relation there. Uh, he's Emmy nominated. He has the Addy and Telly Award winning. And he has over a decade of production experience. He has talked to your client experience across multimedia and spectrum, including Netflix, Amazon Prime, and other services. And he performs a ton of functions, including camera operation, steady cam operation, drone piloting, and video editing. So they're partnering up coming in together, they're married, um, to give us a presentation on how to do all that video stuff. So this is some of the speakers we've worked with uh, last year and then this year. Some very familiar names up there, I'm sure. Publix, PDQ, the Tampa Bay Rays, Bacon Babes, 
Um, these are all who you can expect to see and who once came if you have any ideas that are similar to them. Uh, come talk to us, let us know who you want to see, and we will get them here. So, if you want to sign up today, it's $60 and you can sign the QR code and Venmo us. We have a ton of people here to answer any questions you may have. And I promise, if you're going to join one thing here, make it AMA. So, thank you so much for coming today. Please come up and speak to individuals if you have questions. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.